Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to restore a TriCaster. Now you're only really going to need to do a restore on your TriCaster unless something has gone catastrophically wrong. Say you have a virus on your TriCaster or the software isn't working right. There's some kind of issue that we don't know what's going on. We just want to restore our TriCaster back to its factory defaults as if we were just opening it the box for the first time. So for that, we have the TriCaster restore function. Now, what the restore is going to do is it's going to completely wipe your C drive and reinstall TriCaster back onto it. Now, that sounds scary, but it's not. Because all of the media, your sessions, your macros, all of the data that you've already recorded is going to be stored on your separate drives on the TriCaster. So a restore will not even touch or look at those drives during this process. Now, there are a few ways to access the restore partition. Let me show you the easiest one first. Okay, so here we are in our TriCaster interface, and the first thing I want to show to you is a session that I've already built so that we can come back to it later once the restore is complete. So in this session, I only have one file playing of this antenna in my DDR, and that's just to make a mental note of what's here when we come back to it later. Now, there are a few ways to restore the TriCaster, and I'm going to show you all of them, but let me show you the easiest one first. First, let's exit this session and go all the way back to our main menu. Now, this interface may look a little bit different from what you are using. I am restoring a TriCaster Mini for this demonstration, but every TriCaster will have these options, but it may just look a little different. So you'll click shut down and exit to administrator mode. And from this menu, we will choose the backup or restore system. Now this pop-up will display a registration code, so make sure you write it down for later use. Now once I start this restore process, the system will restart and boot up into the restore mode. From here, it will give you the choice to launch normally or backup and restore. Choose the backup and restore option using the arrow keys on your keyboard and press enter. Now this next menu will give you four options. Restore system partition to factory defaults, create user drive, restore system partition from user backup, or abort the restore. Select the first option, which will restore your system back to its factory defaults. Now this process will take a little bit of time to load, so just let it do its thing until you reach the next menu. Now the next menu is the factory restore screen, which will appear in big red letters and basically says that this action cannot be undone. Once you restore, all data on the C drive will be lost. Now, if you want to abort the restore, simply power your TriCaster down. But if you want to proceed, you need to type in YES with a capital Y, lowercase ES, and then press ENTER. It's very specific about this. Now, now, once you've done that, the restore is off and running. Now, I'm going to speed this portion of the video up as it can take anywhere between 15 and 45 minutes depending on your TriCaster. Now that the restore is finished, the menu will say power off or press reset to continue. Simply hold down the power button on the front of your unit to power it off. Let it sit for about 10 seconds before powering it back on. Now once you power it back on, simply launch the TriCaster like you normally would. Now after you've performed a restore, your TriCaster will be back on its default software that it's shipped with. I highly recommend updating your TriCaster after this step to make sure that you have the latest software build. But for this example, I'm going to cancel out of this window for now and open up the session I created before performing the restore. And 
And voila, there is the clip that I placed in my DDR earlier. Now that the restore has been completed, you're back to brand new straight out of the box software, which means you've got to update. Now, what I recommend doing after the restore is complete is to go to newtech.com slash downloads to find the most recent software build for your product. Install it and you should be up and running. Now, I mentioned earlier that there's a few ways to get to this restore partition. Let me show you the next way to get to it. Now in this example, let's say for some reason we simply cannot launch the TriCaster software to get to the administrator mode. We can force Windows to boot directly to the restore partition using this method. To do this, right click on My Computer, select Properties, Advanced System Settings. Now there are four different tabs under System Properties. Select Advanced. Select Settings under Startup and Recovery. Under Default Operating System, select Backup and Restore TriCaster. Now all I have to do is apply these settings, then simply reboot the TriCaster. And now what will happen is, instead of launching the TriCaster software, it will automatically boot to the restore partition. Now let's say that you can't get to the restore partition from either the TriCaster or Windows software. There's one more way to get to it. All you have to do is hold the power button down on the front of your TriCaster until it turns off completely, and then Press that power button again, and as soon as you've done that, start pressing the F8 key on your keyboard over and over again. This will interrupt its normal boot cycle and take you straight to the restore partition. Now, if you're still having issues with your TriCaster after you've done a restore and an update, please make sure to contact New Tech Customer Support. Now, if you like this tutorial video but want a little bit more, Make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I'll show you all the ins and outs of our TriCaster systems. Also, if you're on Instagram, make sure to follow us and tag us in your post. We'd love to see how users are using TriCasters in their production. Also, if you want some more tutorial videos and customer testimonials, check out youtube.com slash newtechinc. Until then, thank you for watching. And be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.